Welcome to the Hollywood Scholar. I'm Jed Morgan. Paramount Plus is preparing to release their Hey VTV series based on the acclaimed game series Halo. And it's been received with a lot of negative stuff, at least in the realms of the online sphere that I'm connected to. A lot of people say it's not accurate to the games, it doesn't have the spirit of the games, or there's just some general design issue problems. I gotta say up front, I'm not a huge Halo fan. I played the Halo 4 campaign all the way through and played a lot of Halo 5 multiplayer, not the online stuff, just like the with friends. So I'm not super invested in this world. But I know a lot of people care about it, and it's been really popular right now, so I wanted to go over this Halo, the series trailer review, and see what we got coming for us. So let's take a look. I hate that they do that, the mini trailer at the beginning. It's so annoying. What type of setting is this? That doesn't look anything like Halo. Best weapon. Oh, God. Yeah, so, so far, it doesn't... I don't know what planet that was, but that didn't really have a Halo feel to it, at least from my limited knowledge, and that CGI wasn't great. Not great whatsoever. Uh -huh. Oh, and her haircut? <laughs> her haircut's great. The Master Chief is enhanced and trained for one purpose. Looks good. I do have to say he looks phenomenal. Master Chief, ho oh, oh. ho. He looks very intimidating. But when the other characters don't react to that intimidation, it really brings down his scary factor. Like that little girl doesn't seem to be frightened by this looming massive figure at all. And of course, once you get to know someone, that could be the case. But if people are just like immediately like, what's up, dude? That really takes away a lot of the mystique and frightening aspects of the character that made him so compelling for a lot of players. Win this war. He and the other Spartans are our only effective weapons. Very diverse. The covenant. I like that. He is lethal, upgradable, and most importantly, CGI is not great, but cool fight. Controllable. Covenant forces appear. That's not good. He's talking too much in this trailer. It's kind of like the Doom guy. You don't want to hear his voice. And when it is, you want it to be epic. So I, I do like the voice. It's just he's saying too much. And a lot of what he's saying, at least in the trailer, can only go off the trailer. It's pretty generic lines. Like, nothing really cool. <laughs> like, really cliche. Yeah, he's soon to be saying that. What they did to us... Is he gonna get like an alien upgrade beyond his human experimentation? Makes you know. When you just decided to help me, why wouldn't a Spartan do that? What does one do with a superhuman you're not sure you can trust? Hello, Master Chief. I am Cortana. Oh God! That was horrific, CGI-wise. CGI—that CGI look was just awful. She's she's an AI and she's like even more CGI than the the game cutscene. So I don't think she should look wholly real, like a real person. She should feel a little animated. And that was just like, ooh, we put a blue filter on this chick. No, it's a hologram of a 3D entity. No, it's gonna look a lot more in depth hologram type than that. That was awful. The actress, I liked her voice. Her voice did sound very Cortana for uh, a non-simulated voice. Like, they could add some sound effects to her voice to make it sound a little bit more computery, but I did like the voice overall. Just the CGI on her look was shit. And from someone who played Halo 4, her most prominent game, let's say, like, she, uh, from what I understand, she had the most story from it and it was very compelling. That story in Halo 4, I quite enjoyed and quite connected to, like, Cortana's important to me for my Halo experience, as limited as it is. So to see her butchered like that that egregiously i'd have to say that that drives down my interest a lot because she was my like one of my favorite halo characters so her inclusion was very important to me if it's bad my interest just went down quite a bit master chief recovered something sacred ring halo I don't know if that was a mistake in the editing of the audio lines, but they made it seem like they were calling that thing that he recovered 
the halo ring a sacred ring halo like they put those audio lines way too close together or didn't include like a sacred t uh, key for the halo or something like that they made it sound like that key was the halo and i think that was a mistake in editing but if that is the halo that's <laughs> insane from what i know of the game series that's really going to destroy the lore of the world if the halo is this big now so yeah that from an audience member's perspective that call just editing it that way really would confuse people who don't know any better. Humans. I don't like her. She she's not gonna be a great villain. Does she have superpowers? Alright. Cortana, I'm gonna need you now. That was alright. She's in the mood a show a lot, it looks like. Find the Halo. Win the war. Yeah, his lines were shit. Yeah, so doesn't look great. Doesn't look terrible either. It's just a lot of the CGI issues. It looks a lot cheaper than a Halo series would need because of how like space travel sci-fi it is. It needs a bigger budget than it looks like it has. And I think a TV show is better. I generally prefer TV shows to movies just because you have the time to tell a more in-depth story. So and Paramount Plus just doesn't have a really a reputation at all yet. So I don't know if they were the right platform to carry such a big juggernaut of a show like this was uh halo is one of the most popular video games in the world so you that alone is going to bring a big audience and if you don't put enough money into that it's really not going to end well for paramount plus not really any more excited for the show probably less i'm not looking forward to it now but you know we'll have to see but anyway that's all i have for today i'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments below please like share and subscribe and i will see you on the next video anon <laughs>like what I do here and want to see good compelling stories that Hollywood will no longer give you, check out my book series, Odyssey of a Phoenix, a mythological epic about philosophy, morality, and modern day mental illness issues. Books one, Down in Flames, and book two, Apocalypse Then, currently on sale. Book three, Kill the Dark, coming soon.